Hello guys, here we are again for another exciting episode of your favorite show, Hot and Juicy with me, Miss Bang. It's been a crazy week. Hope you guys are safe and ready to be informed and entertained. If that's the case, then take the best position wherever you're watching. And let me drown you into the pool of some real entertainment with our first segment popping up right away. Is Manibela toasting Stanley Enno or is it the call for collaboration? Cameroonian Bikosi artist in one of her recent posts shared what looks like a toast to Cameroonian artist Stanley Eno. She says, and I quote, I care less if you are my senior or junior brother. Tell me, are you married or engaged? If you aren't yet, I have an interesting proposal for you. Mm, what could this proposal be? After dropping this one, fans immediately concluded that Mani Bella was crushing on King Kong while others saw it as a call for collaboration. Remember, Mani Bella is married with children. So what could this proposal be? Could she be toasting King Kong for someone else? We all know King Kong hardly makes his personal life public with barely seeing him with a girl being eaten in the streets, on social media or during shows. Oh, could Mani Bella be trying to break this myth of his? Remember of recent she tried joining Loco and Mimi. Anyway, her message did not fall on the rocky ground because Stanley Enno responded a few hours later saying, and I quote, Age isn't a factor when it comes to love. We never know. I am waiting for your proposition. You see, I said it. Could this be the beginning of a celebrity love story? Or could they be buzzing the internet for something great coming up? Anyways, give it va. So let's wait and see. Dubai got it extra hot and juicy from four of our talented artists Tizi Panchang, Cleo Gray, Vivi Simit, and Kamini. Guys, check this out. <laughs> Gradually recognized in the diaspora, Kosi did it in Birmingham, UK, and in Istanbul, Turkey. Who's next? What is happening with the godmother Tila Tafari? Is the entertainment industry slowly losing one of theirs? Her depression started when she broke up with her baby daddy. She stayed offline for some time, and when we all thought she was over with it, she stunned the internet with a GoFundMe, asking her fans to phone her for her next music video project, promising it was going to be a hit, otherwise she was quitting music. Since then, she has been dropping singles and freestyles back to back. Check this out, guys. God, mother, sound. Tila, 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 tila. Je te connais pas tant tequila. Je t'ai dépassé, tu es où là? Je fais de la moula, la moula. Tila, 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 tila. Je te connais pas tant tequila. Je t'ai dépassé, tu es où là? Je fais de la moula, la moula. Fire, bonne, bonne, bonne dame. Je les fume tous, ils sont dans le dame. Tu ne likes pas, je ne gère pas. Je suis trop loin, je te dis. We all thought the godmother was finally back until she shocked the internet with this tragic revelation of her personal life and what she has been going through. This is what she revealed, I quote. I write this down with the heaviest of hearts. I've been physically and emotionally abused for so long that right now, I don't know how I feel. I know I am traumatized and I really need help. I lost interest in everything. All of the things I used to like, I don't like anymore. Even food doesn't really entice me. I don't sleep. I know many people don't care and would still come under this post to insult me and suggest I shouldn't have posted this. But I'm writing this for anyone who can read between the lines and who actually cares. I'll be gone. Oh my God. Wow. This is heartbreaking. If this is actually what she's going through, then she really needs our help. I think this is high time the social media criticism and the online shading stops and gives way to humanity. Let's not fold our arms and wait for the worst to happen before we start showing concern. At times, fake love can save someone's life. It's time we be one another's keeper because Tila, she really needs us. Now, why for Boya now so? Renting a room in Boya now looks like renting an apartment in the Beverly Hills. What be? A room for 35, 40 to 50,000 francs a month just because it's a university area? Let's hear from old Pancho. Yes, this matter where I did talk and so, 
Now some very, very serious matter where they go on now so for Boya. When I want to get houses there for Boya, these days, it is like now when they go the incantate, when they fast for 40 days, 60 nights, say me this crisis you not finish so that when I go to make money non-stop. But when I see that when I do so, I think they for hair fire. Could this be in relation to the extravagant lifestyle some of these youths are living? Whatever the reason, this is a situation which needs immediate attention from the government. Because in the midst of these people, we have IDPs, we have children from poor backgrounds whose parents barely afford a single meal a day for them. This adds to the already expensive nature of Boya, and if not handled with time, might have serious repercussions. On the African showbiz scene, no Cameroonian made it to the BET Awards nomination list. The BET Best Hip Hop Awards nominations came out last week, September 9, and it's a pity to notice that there is no Cameroonian artist on the list. This has been going down for long, and it's becoming alarming and cause for concern. We've had Nigerians, South Africans, Tanzanians, Kenyans, always making it to the list, but never a Cameroonian. Is it that our genre of music does not meet up the criteria of any of their categories? Or are our artists simply not giving in their best? So what's the way forward? Should we send a petition to the BET organizers reminding them that we have artists in Cameroon too? Or should we drop the hashtag Cameroonian artists for BET? Maybe this will remind and persuade them to add us at least to the nomination list and dear Cameroonian artists, especially those fighting titles and calling themselves kings and gods. If other African artists are doing it, you also can do it. So sit up. That's all we have for the first segment of this program. Thank you so very much, guys, for still watching. If you're here for the first time, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to let me know in the comment section what you think about everything I just said here. It is time for us to have it more entertaining with our top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs this week. Let's open this countdown with this beautiful brand new release from artist Fredo. The title of the song is African Woman. Guys, watch and enjoy. Baby, give me things when I desire. Oh, my African woman. She give me love and no they retire. Oh, my African woman. Popping up at the ninth position is this beautiful song from Tiki's titled My Diva. I don't smoke it, shisha. Oh, I'm looking for my diva. Coming up at the eighth position is Olua Eyes featuring Nivo T with this beautiful song titled Trauma. For work on Navo Street, don't be no problem. Men and no one walk, they stand for street, they find a problem. Sleep on your bed, they go stick and they find you. Occupying our seventh position is this brand new release from Sam and Dango, and it is titled Okay. It's Friday night, ma. It's time to party, ma. It's time to spend some of the money that you want, ma. Forget your worries, ma. Coming up at the sixth position is this beautiful song, brand new release from Vivi Smith, titled Anjou. You the hustle, and in all this show, make you no give up, make you no she done. You the hustle. Occupying our fifth position is the beautiful Daphne with her brand new release, La Ba. Believe featuring Ivorian artist Aria Chene with their brand new collaboration titled Casanova occupies the fourth position. And number 10 video of the week is this beautiful one titled And They See from the talented Loco. You know. hey. Comme une impression que les anges chantent plus. On est d'accord que lorsque. Popping up at the second position is this beautiful song which is counting 1 million views on YouTube. It is from Mimi featuring Loco and it is titled Fire. Fire. Topping up 
playlist this week is this beautiful brand new release. It's a collaboration titled Seduce Mang from Cameroonian artist Dinastilo Tigo featuring the very talented Bendeka. Guys, check this out. <laughs> That's all we have for our top 10 hottest Cameroonian songs this week. Let's have the pick of the week. Welcome on Pick of the Week, guys. Season 6 Big Brother Niger House made Sasuke wear the famous togo, which is a Cameroonian traditional outfit common to those in the grass field, precisely from the northwest region of the country on an eviction night. This part controversies as Nigerians also claim the outfit is a traditional attire from one of their tribes which shares boundary with Cameroon. Whatever the case may be, all I know is that she rocked it. She definitely rocked it. And this is where we draw the curtains for today's exciting episode of your favorite show, Hot and Juicy. Thanks very much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Don't forget to, to let me know what you think about everything on this episode in the comment section. Like and share. I'll be right back next week with so much more. And for more information on the common entertainment industry, stick to us. You already know how we give it to you back to back. We're on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and very much active on our website. Guys, I'll be right back next week with so much more. Do have a great weekend. Oh, okay. Istanbul. It's Istanbul. Okay. It's Turkey. Okay. Let's take.